the last, he doesn't get it. You know, you guys know what I mean. Like, I finished their main Christmas shopping, not their stockings, like, I'll be buying little Christmas gifts and little filler gifts until Christmas Day, but you guys know what I mean. Hey guys, so I don't know that I've ever done just like a super random haul before, um, but I got some fun holiday things, so I thought I would share with you guys what I picked up. I had like a burnout day, like texted my husband like, hey, when you get home, I'm leaving, and then I'll come home when the, you text me that kids are sleeping. <laughs> so there were a couple of errands I wanted to run, a few things I wanted to grab. I did want to just like browse the Target dollar spot. I wanted to go sniff candles at Bath and Body Works. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, and so I thought, oh, it'd be fun to share what I got. A couple of things were good deals, um, but I, by the time I put the video up, I don't know if they will still be good deals but it's the holiday season if you ask anybody who works in retail, so I'm sure that some of these things may be on sale again too. So the first of probably many holiday hauls coming your way right now. So first things first, um, I went to Bath and Body Works. Of course, they're the housewife flying around because I don't see them unless I turn my camera on. Um, so the first thing I grabbed was this Bright Winter Sky Soap, this foaming hand soap. Now I was getting the gel soap, but the lady insisted that I get the foaming hand soap. Um, of course, I don't know what it smells like here. Yeah, this one smelled so good. I really liked this one. These were like two for th or three dollars each or something like that. I also got this winter citrus wreath for the kids. Now, I have to be honest and say that the gel hand soaps were actually, the packaging was so much cuter. I hate the packaging on these foaming ones. I think they're super childish and the gel ones were really beautiful, like would be decorative. Um, but regardless, I thought the kids would just like this one. We use Thieves Everything from Young Living for the most part. If I run out of that, then I will grab like a Mrs. Myers soap. So it's a little strange for us to have Bath and Body Works soaps, but I thought, hey, just a special occasion. Um, I don't think I've honestly walked around Bath and Body Works since I was a teenager. The next thing I got there, the last thing I got there, was this winter candle. Now, there were a lot of different candles that smelled really, really good. I actually took some pictures because I put them on my wish list for John for Christmas, which he never asks for, but I give him anyway because I know he always runs out of ideas. Uh, but some of the ones that I really loved were Into the Night, Sweater Weather, and then I couldn't decide between this one and Winter White Woods. I actually think I liked the scent of Winter White Woods better, but this one smells like I'm walking into my grandmother's house and my grandma actually lives in the woods in Northern Illinois where I grew up. I just had my kids there and there's something about the combination of the nature right outside her door when the creek is frozen and like you smell the trees, super, super like crisp smell. And then you walk in, there's like a potpourri or something that she always hung right in her front entryway. And so the combination sound, smelled just like this. So I couldn't not get this candle. So these were also on sale. I think they were four, yeah, $14.50. So they're normally $24.50. Again, we use almost all essential oils in our house. So it's been a long, long time. Our pastor gifted this to me recently after we went, um, John and I went through like a little bit of a difficult time with something and he gifted us that candle and I loved it. And it's like been so long since I've had one of the three wick candles, I never treat myself to them. So that kind of sparked an interest again and so I wanted to grab another one for winter. So that was my bath and body wash. Okay, next I'll show you what I grabbed from Michael's. Um, because then my Target haul is humongous. So this is the only other like quick little haul. Uh, let's see, is that all I got from Michaels? All right, every other bag is Target. So from Michaels, I popped in there to see if they had any Christmas beanie boos because I wanted to put Christmas beanie boos in my kids' Christmas pajama boxes. So you may, I just filmed that today as well. You may, I've already seen that. I'm not sure when I'm putting this video up, so I, I don't have like my schedule in my head. Uh, they did not have the Christmas ones out yet. I, I mean, I don't fault them for it. I went, this is like November 5th that I went to get this stuff. 
and I put I give them Christmas pajama boxes the day after Thanksgiving so I think most of the Christmas things will come out afterward but we have a new front entryway bench and we ordered a cross Christmas wreath from a local um, you know a local student who we were supporting they were selling wreaths so we ordered a cross and then I always wanted to do something like nativity or something on our front porch area so with that bench I got this joy to the world pillow I actually almost got one that said um, well I don't know I, I remember because I got a smaller one. Oh no I didn't <laughs> Never mind. Uh, anyway, I wanted something with a hymn or something nativity, so I thought this Joy to the World pillow would be really pretty on that front bench, and then it just has another accent pillow there with that. Normally this was $40, but all their Christmas stuff was half off, and if you are a homeschooler and you have a membership card, you can get a teacher's discount, so then another 15% off of that. So I don't recall exactly what I spent on that, but I, I never invest in decorative pillows because I just always feel like the price is super, like I would never pay $40 for pillows, especially since those are indoor pillows and I'm technically putting them outdoors, but our porch is covered. Then I got, since their Christmas stuff was 50% off, I also got this sign that says, Oh Holy Night. I thought that'd be pretty to put on our piano um but who knows because i never remember what we have what decorations we have for christmas until i pull our boxes out and then i also got them these um little ornaments to decorate these were two dollars and then i ended up getting them for a dollar with the 50 percent and 85 cents because of the 15 percent on top of that so um i thought that would be fun for them to decorate um at some point because the, my kids love hot cocoa i'm sure every kid loves hot cocoa but um, living in Florida, we literally only drink hot cocoa like twice and it's a big deal to them when we do. Okay, so now on to the Target stuff, which is the, basically like $200 worth of stuff. So let me get that stuff okay, organized. Okay, so the first thing I bought was full price, which is actually kind of rare for me at Target, although a few of these things were actually full price. Um, I don't just go browse the store. If, if Mostly what I do for Target is the drive up pickup because I used to get myself into lots of trouble in Target. But I saw this online. This is um, an advent countdown banner, I guess. It didn't come with anything to slip into the pockets, which I appreciate because I would have cut something off if I had to. Um, and a lot of their advent calendars were on sale, but this brand was not. This is Opal House, um, and it was $19.99. This is one of the only ones that go to day 25. And the reason that that was important to me is because I do the Unwrapping the Greatest Gift by Ann Voskamp. And that has 25 ornaments or 25, you know, Jesse tree ornaments. And most of the countdown calendars only go to 24. The other thing I liked about this is that this is a larger banner than the, oh, what's the brand name? What is the Target brand name? I can't remember what it is. Um, whatever their common decorative, you know, brand is, they had that stuff 20% off and I looked, but I didn't think, one, it only went to day 24, but also I didn't think that the little wood slice ornaments that we decorated last year for the Jesse tree would fit into that. And they actually just perfectly fit snug into this. So, um, John and I decorate, we used to have Jesse tree ornaments that we did as part of an exchange years ago, but then last year we wanted to make little ornaments that our kids could keep forever. Um, and so he and I sat down over the course of a few nights and hand painted a bunch of these little wood slice, little decorative wood slices that I think are for, um, like jewelry. Um, but then we made them into ornaments for the Jesse tree. So I thought we could slip them each into here and they literally fit perfectly. So we'll probably end up storing them in this as well. So this is going to go by our Jesse tree, which our Jesse tree that we use is just like a thin, six foot tall flocked Christmas tree. Um, so this will be really pretty. We also have like a garland that we put on that tree that has the names of God. So um, this will be a really beautiful touch to that. So I grabbed that and again, that was $19.99. Um, and I would have waited 
it for it to go on sale if I thought it was going to go on sale, but I just really wanted to have it and I wanted to see if it was gonna fit our ornaments. Um, the other thing, the main thing that I went for were the kids' Christmas pajamas. So these are the pajamas we're getting this year. We almost always use Gymboree, um, and I'm so grateful that Gymboree is coming back. If you don't know, Gymboree is coming back, you guys. The children's place, I believe it is, bought them out and are going to, um, to bring back the classic style that we all love. So I'm really excited about that. In the meantime, Target pajamas are pretty great. We really like them. Um, so I wanted to get these because I saw when I went to order them online that they only had one in stock of Bella's size. She's so tall, so if we're gonna do a nightgown, I have to go up a size, and they only had one left in stock, and I didn't wanna wait to order the pajamas because I wanted to make the video because you guys wanted that video sooner this year than um, I have done it in years past. It's one that I'll repeat every year because while it is the same tradition, we do it a little differently every year. My, oops, sorry. My mom also gets the kids Christmas pajamas, all of the cousins, and gives them to them on Thanksgiving. And all the kids after our Thanksgiving dinner, everyone changes into their Christmas pajamas here and we take a picture every single year. Um, so for the girls, we got them these Wonder Shop nightgowns as well. They have like little trees, Christmas trees and cars. And then for the boys, we got them these dino, like, uh, Fair Isle, but dinosaur print pajamas. They're the same color scheme, but we didn't love any of the um, matchy matchy ones for the whole crew this year. So there's that. Is that all that's in this bag? Uh, yeah. I also stopped by and got myself a Starbucks, of course. And it happened to be the day that they're giving the free cups out. So I went at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. maybe by the time I was in Target. And mine still had tons of these, so. Got myself one of those. I think I get 10 cents off. Doesn't matter, because I'll never remember to bring it with me, so oh well. Uh, dollar spot stuff. Of course, you gotta get the holiday pencils when you're a homeschool mom, because who doesn't love a holiday touch in the homeschool room? I got a couple of packs of Christmas napkins because we do a lot of hostessing at Christmas time, and I like to put out um, napkins for the guests in the bathroom so they don't use our hand towel. Got the hot cocoa for their pajama boxes. I grabbed this from the dollar spot. I just realized the hot cocoa wasn't from the dollar spot, but this says number one coach. It's a random ornament to, it was three bucks, random ornament to put in the dollar or in the Christmas section, but it works out really well because John was Jesse's basketball and baseball coach this year. So I thought it would be a sweet stocking stuffer from Jesse. Um, and he's going to be Eli's basketball and baseball coach this year as well because Eli and Jesse will be on the same team because they're at that, just the right age where that overlaps for one season. Um, I got this Life is Too Short for Bad Wine bag set. They're, they're four count uh, for a dollar because I don't think this was part of the holiday collection. This was just in like the party section. But um, at the holidays, a lot of John's uh, and his dad's clients, they'll give bottles of wine too um, when they know them really well and some of them are on a really fun um, personal level so I thought that'd be just a cute touch that fun little bag um, and what else did I get from that section okay so I think that's all my dollar spot stuff but Target is having a really good deal on toys right now uh, I'm gonna try to get this video up sooner than later so you guys can get this deal if you want to activity sets and certain toys are buy to get one free so I have some of that to show you but also um, they had baby alive for 25% off and you can text this number and get another 25% off one toy coupon so Annie hasn't asked for this but she does love baby dolls and I thought this little baby alive looked like her um, and she's all about playing doctor right now, playing vet, playing doctor to her baby dolls. And so this is the Baby Alive Better Now Bailey set, like the little doctor set. She's gonna love that it wets its diaper. Um, I don't usually buy her a lot of baby dolls. She only has the one bitty baby right now and she loves to play with that. But I got this for $10, it's $19.99. Um, but I did need another gift for her so that was Perfect, and I finished her that night. I, text, I texted John, I was like, I just finished Christmas shopping officially. And he was like, you've said that like three times now, but 
that was the last he doesn't get it you know you guys know what i mean like i finished their main christmas shopping not their stockings like I'll be buying little Christmas gifts and little filler gifts until Christmas Day, but you guys know what I mean? Drop me a comment if you know what I'm talking about when I say I finished my Christmas shopping. I also grabbed the boxes for their Christmas pajamas that I'm about to film right now and candy canes. <laughs> I was so mad when I got into my car and was looking at everything because I grabbed the organic candy canes or I grabbed these off the spot that said organic candy canes and I just got the regular ones. They must have been out of order, but that's fine because I didn't spend $4.99. It means I spent like $1.99. Um, okay, so a couple of the things I picked up. These were actually drive-up orders, but then I went into the store, so I grabbed them when I was in there. So part of those activity kits that I was talking about, I got two of these um, six-count slime kit from Play-Doh uh, for my older two kids, and then I got these these play-doh pet hair salon for annie um you guys know i like play-doh my kids will never outgrow it although i do feel like thankfully they had that slime for my older kids because my older two would have been like play-doh seriously um i got this one for eli and then um, I also grabbed the boys, um, I got the girls a couple of craft kits. So I got the boys a couple of these Smithsonian rock and gem dig kits um, because they love those. And I also, I took advantage of this sale a few times in the last couple of weeks. So it's buy two, get one free. So if you buy six, you know, you get two free. Or if you buy 12, you get four free. So I actually got a few more of like the Smithsonian National Geographic kits for the kids online last week. And then, oh, okay. I don't, is this like a gift? They gave me, apparently they gave me an applesauce for free. <laughs> Probably were like, this mom must have a million kids because she is always here. Um, is that everything? That's everything. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that haul. Let me know if you guys enjoy hauls because as I do more holiday shopping, um, I would love to sit down and do some chatty hauls with y'all. Um, so yeah, that is what I got. Let me know down below what you have already gotten for Christmas and if you've done any pre-holiday shopping. It was really funny because I'm thinking a month ahead for my videos, so I went looking for some Christmas-specific things and um, then it would like throw me off when I would go into a store and see Thanksgiving stuff. I've never been like a super early Christmas kind of a person. I always wait until the day after Thanksgiving to decorate. But I was just like, what? This is weird. I was listening to Hanson Christmas in the truck. And every time I'd walk in a store and see Thanksgiving stuff, I'm like, what? What is happening? It was so bizarre to me. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are doing some shopping now. If you're done, like I am done. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.